Well, boys and girls, the big fellas dropped a bollock. Matron, take them away! And a warm welcome to one and all. Now this is an odd video today because I have monumentally dropped a clanger. And why is that? Well, I did a monologue at the start of the video. Uh, I'll leave a speedy bit at the start, so it's only 20 seconds or so. So you can see me talking, pulling up websites and one thing and another, and showing you a little bit about a trade um, before I go into the trade. But at the end of this video, there is sort of a caveat where I carry on what I was talking about. Um, what you gotta remember is I am not a filmmaker. I am a trader. I'm a professional trader, even though sort of somebody in that monologue was kicking it in about stops, laughing at me because they couldn't see my stop. I couldn't give a fuck whether you see my stop or not. I trade the way that I trade and I prove it every single day. I also, in that monologue, showed you Traders Day Live, and you'll see that pass up. And in that, you'll be able to see the speakers. Every speaker that is involved in that event is vetted. They have to show statements, be known by the industry, and more importantly, be profitable. Wonder who the speakers are. Go find out. See if you recognize a couple of them. Anyway, let me play this out. Um, the trade I did was for Ludwig out of the Scruffy squad. A uh, little salute to you because he asked about the S&P 500 today. It's not a market that I trade a lot, but I did it for him. And then I had my own trade of the euro. So yes, it's a horrible video. Yes, you'll probably kick it into it, but I am not Steven Spielberg. If I was a film star, I'd be this one. Hello. Happy days. At least I got to be with Princess Leia. Fantastic. Right, off we go. Okay guys, uh, I need the camera to go into a meeting now, as I was saying. Um, but to give you a quick update as to what's going on, I will come back to this this afternoon. S&P 500, I was right to go short on this. It's gone down. I've taken money out and I've just left a sliver on. It's not a market I trade, so I'm not really worried about this at all. Um, if we just pull this out, this is kind of what you saw me do yesterday. And there you go that there's a little bit of money out. It's not big money, it's 40 quid, but it's 40 quid more than I had. Now this is risk-free, my stop is there, quite happy. So for those who don't think I use a stop, um, I'll touch on that just a second. I'll touch on that after the video uh, about stops, because it is important. 
and the money is made in the management of a trade not in the entry not in your strategy or anything the management that is something i keep for the squad i genuinely do all the management is in there want to see it that's where you find it strategy wise it's just the same it's level to level pick a direction get in at an optimum point if you haven't got that optimum point right you break your trades up to capitalize on that and then manage your trade very very simple but there is a, a process behind it that's risk free this one the premise is still there it's in a range bound it's pushed down to the base of the range and i'm just capitalizing on the moves to then come back up into well call it mid-range but it's basically into that move which is based on a 15 minute chart so we'll let it run you can see that it's creeping in a little bit now there is news later on today so i am very protective of this i do know what's going on with it and the chances are it's going to come screaming up now just before the news comes in i'll pull all the targets down so i can get in and out of this I'll either kill it and get rid of it or I'll keep a very close eye on it and if it's going the wrong way I'll definitely kill it and if it goes the right way fantastic we're going to get paid all right but the chances are I'll be out of the trade but that is also protected you know if it's wrong it's not going to damage the account management see you after my meeting We're waiting. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we're still in the trade. We're currently reasonably net positive. Let me put the bigger screen on for you. Uh, ah, well, we, we slipped back a little bit, but I'm still not overly worried about this. And tickets, we have one position left to open, which is down here. And we are out okay so the s p 500 uh it did come back and stop out not a problem the analysis was correct shot straight back up hit the stop and then pushed but it went down to pretty much where i said it would go we're left with a single trade running which is this now let me just flick that out so you can see it a bit clear um it's just meandering around pushing up and i will just play it out and we'll see if we can get some pennies out of this so i'm gonna have my lunch let it crack on happy days Okay guys, we back. Job's done. And there's Fang there, stuffing her face with vegetables. What have you got today? Prawn salad. All right. Stuffing her face with fish, prawn salad. Ah, the pie. Because I've got my figure to look after. But what, oh bloody hell, need a coffee as well. But what figures have I been looking after? Let me have a coffee. We all know Scruffy likes a coffee. He does. He likes Winky as well. Even though Winky's having a bit of a go at him today. Because because um, she's got to go to dentist tomorrow, as I was saying. And it's not going down well. But this has gone down well. Nothing's running. No tickets, because I've closed them off. And there's the completion. Running on from yesterday. There is the US 500 or the S&P 500. So it's a little salute to Ludwig who asked me to do that um it's great speaking to you as well kid and um keep plugging you will get there i'm sure you'll get there um but that was well executed and then of course we've got the euro which was my trade anyway now all of this was predetermined before we go to market 
And that's one of the things that we need to pay attention to. And I'll touch on that in just a second, but let's see what this is pulled out. So four, 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 three, minus 65, 40, minus a quid, and minus 46, 20, which was yesterday. There you are, 331 for basically just planning out my day and um, that's it you know it's a methodical plan it's multi-time frame analysis it's a single direction it's controlled i know where i'm getting in i know where my pain threshold is and that includes mental and hard stop contrary to belief and then i manage the trade and i manage the trade in such a way it becomes profitable even if I've got in too early. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't get. And one of the issues with this industry is kind of the way it's sold and the way it's spoke about. It's always on, you've got to make mega money. No, you don't. Don't at all. You have to follow a process. And if you follow the same process day in, day out, the money will just look after itself. However, if you put the money in the equation first, and that includes your stop for the fabled RR, you've already lost. RR doesn't work simply because you force trades. You put in 10 units in to get 30 units out. What if the market isn't gonna give you 30 units? You'll try and force and hold it. it might run up to 17 units and then decide it's going back 17 the opposite way. And what happens to be in its path? Your stop. So you've got to be sensible with them, all right? So that's it. Executed trade, worked very well. Um, Fang, have you had a good day? Stop calling me Fang. <laughs> I'm going to get beaten up later. Um, nah, I should love my life. But that's one of the things, you've got to take on what worries you. And if you can fight what worries you, calm your mind down. Something for you to think about. But Winky calms me down every day. And why? Because you're beautiful. Every day you're beautiful. Well, you are. You're my best friend. So there we go. So as always, guys, trade well. Keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.